very quickly, I, w I want you guys to just listen very closely to what Marjorie Taylor Greene is saying. This is fascinating. Um, very, 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 uh, very important considering we are in the end times. Everybody should know that. But listen, listen to this. It's very important to hear this. Listen. Let's let's break that down. So Mike Johnson is is pro life, and the second part of the omnibus just less than two weeks ago, he funded full term abortion clinics. Full term abortion clinics. He funded the trans agenda on children. I mean, I'm going to pause that now. So so here's see. Do you see the illusion now? You have these politicians and Mike Johnson, who looks just like oh my gosh, he's been out there defending Trump, and you know oh my gosh. Uh, you know, just has a whole, uh, his whole je ne sais quoi is I'm here to help uh, with morality and for God. And <clears throat> But if you're saying those things, but you don't do them at all, I mean, think about that. Then you, you're really drawing people into believing what you're doing is for the right reasons when behind the scenes, you're not doing that at all. Well, you know, Mike Johnson, would you ever believe Mike Johnson is actually funding bills for what Marjorie Taylor Greene is talking about? Would you ever believe that? It's pretty wild, but here she is saying it. So I, I believe her. Okay, let's listen again. People want to see a peace deal in Ukraine, not murdering more Ukrainians and more Russians. This needs to end. But no, Mike Johnson has has made a complete departure of who he is um, and what he stands for. And to the point where people are literally asking, is he blackmailed? What is wrong with him? Because right. he's completely disconnected with what we want. Do you think he is being blackmailed? I have no idea. I, I can't comprehend, Tucker, what radically changes a man. I mean, if we break yes. down the, the second part of basically an omnibus, let's let's break that down. So Mike Johnson is, is pro-life. And the second part of the omnibus, just less than two weeks ago, he funded full-term abortion clinics. Full okay, so he, he funded full-term. That means the baby can come out, can be birthed and take it to term and make that decision to right then and there terminate the life. That's murder. That's not abortion. Um, and why would Mike Johnson be funding that? Um, you know, if a country is run by the the morals and the, the ideas of the people within the country, and he's supposed to represent a group of people that are just like, no, I just can't get behind that. That's just... No, that's just brutal. I can't be part of that. Well, if he's saying he's part of that, but he's not, then who is he? So it's kind of like he's like a vain show, right? You don't really even know who Mike Johnson really is. It's weird, isn't it? Very strange. Term abortion clinics. He funded the trans agenda. Let's let's break that down. So Mike Johnson is, is pro-life. And the second part of the omnibus, just less than two weeks ago, he funded full-term abortion clinics. Full-term abortion clinics. He funded the trans agenda on children. I mean, how does that even happen from a Christian conservative Republican speaker? He did nothing for the southern border, did nothing to secure the border. And this comes on the heels of Lake and Riley being brutally murdered. This came on the heels of a video that was running on loop on social media where illegal aliens had rushed our border, ran over Texas National Guard, ran over Border Patrol agents in order to invade our country. These were military aged men, by the way. This, he did nothing to, nothing to secure a border. It's the number one issue in the world. He completely changed who he was, funded the FBI, gave him a brand new building, fully funded the Department of Justice that is persecuting everyone on the right and actually targeting our, our presidential candidate, uh, for, for election this year, literally trying to put him in jail the rest of his life. We don't know who Mike Johnson is anymore, so there's no, t I, I can't comprehend it. Mike Johnson. Wow, Mike Johnson. Wow. 
Sachs and the Speaker of the House, who has said the second the congressional recess ends, his number one priority at a moment when the U.S. is being invaded will be to send that $60 billion to Ukraine, possibly as a loan. Not that, of course, anyone expects Ukraine will ever repay or be grateful for that money. They're not grateful now. So we sent a message to the Speaker of the House and asked him to come on and explain why, when the majority of the Republicans he represents, both the voters and members of Congress, opposes why he would join with Democrats to do the one thing that Americans don't think we should do, which is send another $60 billion to pay the pensions of Ukrainian bureaucrats and fund a doomed war. Why are you for that? And of course, he hasn't responded. We also sent multiple requests to Zelensky himself for an interview to explain his position. Of course, he ignored that as well. There's not a lot we can do, but one person who actually serves in the U.S. Congress and who is saying the truth about this question out loud is a member from Georgia called Marjorie Taylor Greene, and she joins us now to explain what she's doing in the face of this insanity. The details of the foreign aid package that we're going to be voting on next week when we go back to Washington. Okay, so I'm just going to I'm going to pause that just so we have a copy of that. Mike Johnson. Well, he's. He's not what he appears to be. Isn't that fascinating? Welcome to the Grand Illusion. Come on in, see what's happening. Pay the price, get your tickets for the show. It's a show. It's fascinating, isn't it? Well, the Vatican's a snake. Remember that. Did you know that the whole building that I showed you that's in the shape of an upside-down cross? I know you guys have heard this a lot, but you know what I found out today? <laughs> today. I heard in my spirit, look at the aerial view of Catholic churches. So I responded, and I did. Do you know how many of them are built in the same shape as St. Peter's, the Vatican? An upside down cross. Well, so let me let me just show you something real quick. I'll just make this a quick little post. You guys want to freak out? <laughs> Did you ever realize how many Catholic churches are in the shape of a cross? Let me uh see what's see what's happening here on my screen. My screen's not correctly enlarging. Look, you see right here? See the cross right here? So, yeah, you walk in here. So, yeah. So, remember the Vatican is an upside-down cross. And so the argument's going to be, oh, Clegg, that's not an upside-down cross. Uh, well, I beg to differ with you because anyone that would make that argument, the reality is, now, let me just show you. There's, there's just one, but my computer is acting a little bit bizarrely. Shape of a cross. Shape of a cross. Uh, some huge, huge cathedrals. In the shape of a cross. Shape of a cross. Let's see. Uh, I'll just see if I can squeeze that out a little bit. Uh, show you guys. Maybe let's try right here. That'll probably. Let's see if that'll. You can see the cross here, obviously. Um, I'll scroll down. Maybe it'll just... There you go. Look at this one. There you go. That's very obvious. See the cross. Okay, so this is done, obviously, with intent. You're, you're trying to make your buildings that you go to worship your God in. I mean, that's why you're there. There's no way to argue it. So you're going to worship your God. Well, if Lucifer is the prince of darkness, right? And so he really is like running the show for that religion right there because they stand inside of a big cross building called the Vatican and they sing to Lucifer donning his own creation. Just typed in aerial view of the Vatican. So so here's a couple of different ones. So let's so if you realize there you go, there's Pinterest. You can see the cross right here, but you know it's upside down because here's the keyhole right here and the cross is upside down. Now, someone also might try and make the argument, oh, no, you're just saying that, Cleck. You just want it to be upside down and you want that to be a keyhole. 
It's called St. Peter's Basilica for a reason, because Peter was crucified upside down. So it's modeled after the crucifixion of St. Peter. Peter, Jesus is Peter that was crucified upside down. See, they're the upside down race. They're the original, and they're inside the serpent worshiping. Do you understand? Now, do you notice that I showed you aerial views of Catholic churches all over the world? And they're all, not all, but there's a whole bunch of them that are in the shape of crosses. Do you think they're right side up or upside down? <laughs> it's like, well, the head church is an upside down cross. Sans, ergo, therefore, all the churches that follow the, the mother church. Don't forget, it's called the mother church. All those that build their buildings do you think they don't model them after the the head church, the mother church, the Vatican? Of course they do. Why do you think they always plant people's heads facing west in their cemetery? Because west is down. <laughs> head down, get it? That's Satan just showing how many souls he gets. Do you understand that the Lord's let me solve this riddle? That you take Adam and you put him to sleep. You take Eve out of his side, the opposite, part opposite. You got one up, one down, male, male and female. Let us create man in our image, male and female created he them. In the image of Elohim created he him himself. The flesh, Lucifer, male and female created he them. Do you see how perfect it is? Do you see how when they took Eve out, when Eve was taken out of his side, Adam's side, then he gets the flesh, the covenant. Do you understand that by, te by, by being willing to take on that flesh, that turned another side of you against yourself. One side of you turns against your own self. So in the beginning, one side of you that you take out of, if you're God and you take out one half of yourself and it's against your own self. Do you understand how profound this all is? Do you understand that when the twin system was created by taking one half of yourself out of your side, uh, so the Lord God taking Eve out of Adam's side, and that's a re representation of the Lord taking half of himself out, down, and opposed, a part opposite, and creating that system and allowing it to exist. Do you understand this? Do you understand that that was the formation of the twin system? Do you understand that when the Lord told Thomas, who is the doubter, who didn't believe, because we don't believe because of our duality, and he let he let. Thomas, the twin Thomas means twin. Thomas was the one that put his hand in the side where Jesus was pierced, representing where Eve was taken out of Adam's side. Do you understand the perfection of what the Lord God's let me give you? Do you understand the greatest gift I could have given the entire world? Uh, the, the absolute knowledge and truth of the Lord God and that he's real and that you can believe how real he is because of the perfection of his word was delivered to a human being that was somehow able to spit it out so you guys could see and understand through imagery and through everything the Lord shows me. Do you understand what's been delivered to you? Do you understand people like Mike Johnson that are in politics that say they're for life and this and they just look like a clean up standing person and, you know, they're just like behind the scenes, not at all what you thought they were. I don't know. People may look at me and go, well, you look a little ratty or whatever, but you know what? It's your heart. It's all about your heart. What are you willing to do for the well-being of others? Are you being blackmailed? If you're being blackmailed, you need to say, you know what, whatever, I did it. and Admit whatever you did and just let them roll the tape. Whatever. There's just so much evil stuff going on in this world right now, you guys. It's like, <laughs> if you can't see Satan is taking over the hearts and the minds of the entire world right now, then you, you're blind. You're just, you're part of the delusion because we are in the strong delusion. You have people making up crimes to, 
just persecute a former president. I mean, they are just the people accusing people of crimes or guilty of that very crimes themselves, if not worse. And I mean, there's no one should ever be able to attack somebody else without them being impeccable. But they're dirtier than the people they're trying to con convict. It's insanity. It's pure madness. <laughs> Let me tell you where that ends up. In a big fire. That's where it all ends up. Guaranteed. I'm the before the fire guy. Anyway, all right. Olivia and Christ, I just wanted to vent for a minute. Show you all these Catholic churches. What The Lord just out of nowhere look at all these Catholic churches from an aerial view. And I did, I'm like, holy crap, all these churches and big cathedrals are built in the shape of a cross. Well, do, do you think any of them are right side up crosses? Well, the Vatican's an upside down cross. It's modeled after St. Peter, who was crucified upside down. See, they know they got you and they're walking people and then they're slaughtering them all day long slaughtering your soul and i am sick of it i'm sick of watching it that's why i will ring this bell as loud as i can i mean this is evil and i'm trying to expose you are my witnesses declares the lord the word witness means a redoubled prince that means i'm a prince from heaven I've been redoubled, I've been made whole in Christ, and now Christ lives in me, and I'm a witness for Christ. And this place that we're in, they hate Jesus. And Mike Johnson just proved that he does too. What's running him does. And he doesn't have the, the chutzpah to be able to stand up to whatever's coming up. He doesn't have the faith, or maybe he's just strictly just like Agent Smith. Who knows? Anyway, God have mercy on him, man. I feel sorry for this place. This place is in huge trouble. Huge trouble. Anyway, you know, you can go watch these interviews. I mean, you can see them online. Watch the whole thing. I don't want to play the whole thing. There's just, I've got too much other stuff. All right, but there it is. You heard it.